we're going to talk about the KPI chart today. So let's just drag the KPI chart. The KPI chart is just like a um, gauge chart where we have instead of the dial meters, we have the exact number. So it's uh, modernly it's very used quite because it use, uses less space and it gives you a precise number. So this is one of the modern charts. So let's add sales amount, my favorite one. Let's just add the sales amount. Okay, so we have this one. If you see, we have the option to add a secondary KPI. So let's just add uh, this time. I think we have the cost. So let's just add sum of unit cost multiplied by quantity so that we can have the cost. Yeah, here we go. And we have the secondary. And let's just switch the places so we can easily switch the place. So now we have 4.8 million as cost and for 6.1 million, 1, 1 million as sales amount. Let's just name, change the names. It's cost. If you want to go into the details of these properties that we have over here, you can see my video on the details of the chart properties. I will share the link in the description. As well. So let's talk about the sales amount and we can see these formattings uh, you have all the options. If you see we don't have any KPI over here, uh, dimension over here for this particular dashboard uh, here. So yeah, that's by default. The KPI we don't have any dimension. So these are general properties. By default the title is off so you can turn it on and write whatever you want. Um, for the time being I'm keeping it off. So what we have the option we over here is that here we have the title so if you are planning to use this title you can turn that off or you can manage it somewhere here as well so that we have the nice option over here and we have the option also for the second title so many a time this uses a lot of space so rather than showing it over here so you can just add that in title like cost comparison with sales okay so here we this is this suffice the overall purpose okay so then we have the alignment so you can align that with over here you can align center or you can align this particular thing to your right so, yes. so you see uh, now it's keeps a lot of blank space regardless we don't use it but it gives it you know a little squeeze so let's see what options we have we have the option for responsive so basically it's a responsive then we have the option for fixed one and when we go for the fixed one uh, let's first go for the large one when we hit the large one we have it over here like in the responsive but if we go for the fixed one you see it's covered the whole area so we can just make it a medium and now regardless of the size of my this particular gate chart it is going to be reflected in this size and then there is a fluid option so Fluid option is more like a uh, responsive option but with a little less font size so this these two both options are very much comparable the responsive and the fluid one okay so the next thing is the good thing here we have is the link to sheet so in all the visualization click the one thing that links um, uh, the KPI chart is very handy when you are making a dashboard the first landing page. So here we have these charts like you know current year sales with the last year sales. You can compare that. And if someone wants to go into the detail, so and he and you can guide them. Okay, so how you can guide them? So you can just turn this link on and tell them to go to a detail sheet. For example, here I have this line chart. I have a detail for the sales. So you can just tell them and that okay when you turn this on and in the analytics mode 
this you see the cursor has changed if we haven't turned that on if you haven't turned that on and if you go into the analysis mode you see the cursor is not turned on so it automatically tells the user that you have the option to change the values okay so let's turn that on it's give us an option to link to a sheet and I have linked it to a sheet and it tells you that it can open into a new sheet so that the user who is looking at the dashboard he keeps seeing that but he has the option to go somewhere else as well but you can turn that off so that he knows that it's same dashboard you don't have want too many sessions open and then we have the option for the colors so you can have the conditional colorings so just turn off the library color so once you turn off the library colors so it has the option for the limits so it's essentially sets us that okay which first color you want we can add the limit once we add the limit we have the option that we can have a value over here or we can have you know uh, fixed thing so okay let's just this time around let's just add sales amount so we want that our sales amount should not be the sales cost should not be the 80 percent more than 80 percent of our uh, sales amount the cost should not be more than that and if it is more than that let's it should be in red and then we add another limit over here and say that this particular limit we're gonna say that if sum of sales amount and we are putting it to the 60 percent if it is 60 percent then it should be yellow okay so if it is the 60 percent of the sales amount it should be yeah this is 80 percent 80 percent above should be red and lower than that should be yellow and you see immediately the color has changed and we can make it gradient we can make it gradient and just make sure that whoever property you want to change for the limit just click on this particular dot so that you choose the correct one and similarly we can change these colors for the second dimension as well the library colors we turn them off uh, basically that relates to the master if you have the defined as the master item uh, so these properties are from there uh, we will cover that soon as well so that's it pretty much it from the comparison chart uh, kpi chart uh, which used to compare to kpi thank you very much for watching